So far in this video series, we focused on setting up the basics, getting the command line, getting Python installed, getting a text editor ready. Now there's a nice couple of extras that we can add on that'll make your workflow a little more smooth as you get into some projects. First, we're gonna talk about a handy tool called pip. Pip is great for installing packages. In Python, there's some great functionality that comes baked into the basic tools. When you install Python, you have all of that already. But pip lets you download other packages, things that other people have written that let you extend what Python can do. And it opens up the door to a huge bag of tricks. If you've ever watched The Matrix, this is like Neo strapping into the chair and downloading Kung Fu. Just like that, you can pull in a whole new capability to your Python. To use pip, go to the command line and type python3-m pip. Install the name of the package you want to install and a dash capital U. Pip is the important part in the middle here. Python 3-m says, Python 3, go to pip and run it as a module. What this does for you is it makes sure that the pip that gets run is the one that's connected to your version of Python that gets called when you type Python 3 at the command line. Because there can be multiple versions of Python on a single machine, sometimes just running pip by itself creates confusion because it can install packages into a different version of Python. And then when you go to use it, it's not there and there's a lot of head scratching and posting and searching on Google and it's very painful. To avoid all of that, whenever you use pip, type python3-m pip. Install is the command that installs a package. In this case, numpy is the name of the package that we want to install. Dash capital U is an optional thing that you can include that makes sure to install it just for you. If you have a machine that multiple users have access to, it'll install it just for your profile. If you're working on a machine that you have complete control over, you can leave off the dash U and it will ask you for probably a root password to install on your machine, but you can avoid all of that by just using a dash capital U. When you run this, your machine goes, reaches into the internet, grabs a copy of this package, downloads it onto your machine, unzips it, installs it, makes sure if there's anything else that it needs, another package that it needs, it'll also go out, download that, and install that too. Those are called dependencies. So it'll get the package, all of its dependencies, and install them all here we see a little warning that says, hey, the version of pip you're using isn't the absolute latest. Here's the command that you could use to update it. Now, we can go and open up a Python 3 interpreter and import NumPy, the package that we just downloaded. It's now there available for us to pull in and use and it gives us all of the superpowers that comes with it. As for what it does, we'll use it in later courses and projects. But for now, this is all that you need to know to be able to install new packages. Now, they don't come out of thin air. If you want to see what packages are available and get a little more information about them, you can go to pypy.org, the Python Package Index. This is a repository on the internet where you can or I can or anyone can write a Python package, upload that code, and put it there for anyone else in the world to download. It's one of the beautiful parts about Python being open source. There are these tools around it that let us all write and share code with each other and make Python more than it was originally. Here we can do a search for NumPy. We can click on that and we can learn a little bit more about it. In the description, we see that it's good for working with n-dimensional array objects, so arrays of one, two, three, as many dimensions as we want. 
And there's some good tools for doing things like linear algebra and Fourier transforms and random numbers and a whole lot more. This will come in handy when you're working on a new project. Very often, a project will require one or two new packages that you haven't used before. So you can go to the command line, Python 3 dash M pip install, and then the name of the packages, and it'll download them to your machine and then you're ready to go.